is I noticed some of you like the way you hold your comb and the way you brush the hair before you section. Mm -hmm. So wherever the line is, wherever, the hair needs to go in the direction that the line is going. Does that make sense what I'm saying? So you notice I've combed all this hair straight down. Now you may need to move around me, so feel free to do so. Um, but when you're looking in your own, let's make her head straight. Okay. So you're going to comb it all back because that's the way the line is going. And the idea of the comb is to like grab it as it goes. And I mean, I didn't, I barely just did that. You see how straight my line is? Effortless. Because the hair is going in the direction I want it to. That's how the comb actually works. So you'll, when you're doing this center part, you're going to stand from behind. You're going to look at the center that you want to be. Place your comb, and then your palm should be like this. This is how you should be holding it. And you can move up to the edge, but to get a straight line, you want to avoid this motion. This is like braiders do this because they're doing like little bitty pieces. You're cutting here now, you want to go like this. And you're going to put your finger without hair on it. Right? So, like this. So, I'm going to start at that very front, right? My fingers underneath, and I'm going to draw it down. And when I pull these apart, it should be pretty straight. And it should be that effortless river okay. Now, when I look at this back, just making sure that as I came down, I didn't get off to one side or whatever. And then from here, I'm finding that high point. So now the line's going this way. The hair needs to be combed that way first. And I'm going to show you why. If it's combed back the way it was, right, I'm then like cutting through in an opposite direction. So then you're going to get tangles on the end. So if you just comb it, and where's this stopping? Where's my finger here? Behind the ear. Behind the ear. High point to behind the ear. The comb pulls half of it away and my hand pulls the other half. Make sense? So if you're not doing that, you're going to practice that through this hair pack. When you're sectioning, if you need to, I always want you clipping for control while you're in class. If you get past that, that's fine, but while you're in class, I want you clipping for control. But when you're sectioning, Try to not leave tails down, because then you might catch them when you're combing for now. So you can like twist it on itself and then just clip it right in that space. It's so slippery from the hydrate conditioner. Did you guys use it? Who's used the hydrate? Yeah. It's my favorite. What do you like about it? Have you used the volumizing? Yeah. I like the volumizing conditioner a lot. More than the hydrate? Mm -hmm. Hydrate makes it feel like so Yeah. But I mean, her hair for a doll head feels outstanding right now. Okay, so then I'm going to take this back and I'm going to put it on the other side. Okay, so then over here, same thing. But now I have a starting point. I should be able to see the parting, make sure they match at the top. Because the, the front to the back is what we're dividing. might have a string in your doll head. Mine has a string. Did you find some silly things in your doll head? Some lint. Yeah, lint. <laughs> some lint? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's, free. That's free of charge. I just gave that to you as a bonus. <laughs> okay, so now <laughs> it just slid right out of there. If that stuff's pretty good. Maybe it's not going to be good for someone who's probably in for it. Let's try again. <laughs> okay, so my first section is going to, as a standard, be two combs width. So the first section is, I'm going to put this out of the way the other way. Um, as a standard, it's going to be two combs width. Why do I say that? 
So you're not grabbing too much or too, little. or too little. Also, when you're working with longer hair, what happens under here? Think about when somebody pulls a ponytail up, what's under here? It's finer. There's those little baby hairs that are shorter. It's almost like a layer under there that's shorter that naturally happens from breakage or whatever. If you only bring that down because you want to work with small sections, you might cut the hair, bring the next section down, and it's like down lower. So starting with two combs with is uh, ideal for that. It also gives you a thick enough section that as you bring the sections over top of it, you can see it. So that's the idea. So when you go here, now notice I'm drawing a line this way. Look at my hair. So you're gonna go one, two. My finger is over here and I'm gonna draw the line. how that's nice and thick. Now when you get down here you want to make sure if the hair is super thick like on your hair. Your hair's thick isn't it? No, it is. We might not be able to do this much. We might have to do less. So judging it but two combs work is a great base. So for this side I'm going to comb the hair this way and draw the line to my finger and bring it down. Watch what happens when you, this is what a lot of people do, they pull it up, because that's where it's in the clip, and they try to, do you see how this is tangling? Mine's not gonna do any of the things just because I'm showing you, but if you're struggling in your section, it's probably the direction the hair is going. So that's gonna be my first section. If you look in front of you up on the wall, there's a poster. Do you see where we're at on that? So we're gonna be right here. And we're gonna bring the hair straight down and cut. Where are we gonna start to cut? In the middle. In the middle. Why in the middle? So you don't go long on one side. So you don't go long on one side. Like starting your guide, like that's a good way to do it. I don't know. <laughs> As you move out to the sides, you have this. Oh, I'm going the wrong way. As you move out to the sides, you have the shoulders to contend with. Mm -hmm. And think about when you cut a piece of like wrapping paper. You cut from one end to the other. And by the time you get to the other end, it's like wonky. Yeah. So by cutting in the center, you're cutting in the center out, center out, and you're connecting pieces, which is easier to create a straight line. Now you want to make sure, like these, I want you to cut enough on this first haircut that you have a solid line. You see how I have like stringiness in here? And put this up as high as you can get it so that um, you can see what you're doing. Yes? A lot of times I'll make you guys stand up at this length or I will sit down, one or the other. So what you're going to do is stand directly in front of where you're cutting and everything is going to come straight down like this. So being mindful, if you have your tripod so that this is like her shoulders, that will help you. If you're touching those legs with your feet, you're in the wrong place. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. So pretend that there's a line right here and you're cutting, this is where your feet can go. And you can go one step to the right and one step to the left. The moment you're here, I'm on her shoulder and I'm bringing the hair here. Do you see how that may affect the end result? Mm -hmm. So everything in the back should be cut in the back. So you're gonna stand directly in front of your section. Make sure she's straight, use your mirror. And if you're halfway through and she's not straight and you move her head, what's going to happen to your haircut? Floppy. Hmm? It'll be lopsided. It'll be lopsided, yep. So you're going to comb the hair, you're going to place your fingers behind the comb directly like this, this and this should feed into your fingers, okay? So this is how you create control. Comb it, place your fingers directly behind, coming straight down, and cut. I'm going to continue to the right because I'm left-handed, but whatever direction your scissors are going, just continue that way. 
and then go to the other side. So I'm going to stand directly behind. So I started here. I'm taking literally one step, but my body is still facing here. My feet, I'm not like this, because I see people cutting like this. I don't know what this is, but I'm not going to cut straight. So my feet should be directly beneath my shoulder. Cutting straight down. Cutting. What am I not cutting past? Your second knuckle. My second knuckle. So look, I have the hair in there, but I'm not going to cut it. I'm going to move. Comb straight down, zero elevation. And then one more section. When you're combing the hair, this is really important. Like comb, feed it through. Yeah, I missed that little bit there. So our feet placement are directly and face, and this is what I want you in front of the mirror, just like you would be with a guest. I want your feet to be facing the mirror, the whole entire back. If you start facing the corner, you're wrong. Yes? Yes. You're gonna, if you start facing the corner, and I cut this here, I'm gonna make it shorter. Look how much more would come off if I cut it here. Do you see that? So you're gonna lose that straight across the back and you're gonna round we don't want round corners. Well, not in this time now. No, we don't. So now I started in the center, right? So I'm taking one step. I'm finding my guide. I'm going to come straight down. The hair is touching the neck, zero elevation. Now, if this were a client, they would have a back, and I would be touching their back. So it's a little more difficult because the hair is just floating. So I'm going to Stay, look at my feet placement. I'm facing this wall, my hips are facing this wall, my shoulders coming down. Look at my fingers. My fingers are horizontal. They're not tucked around here. All of those things matter. What I want you practicing on this is not cutting past your second knuckle. Where are my feet? Where are my hips? Where are Straight. my shoulders? Where are my arms? Straight. That's what I want you to think about before you cut every single time. Correct. They should be facing forward. Straight, 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 forward, forward. So now my first one is two combs with. My next one's going to be one combs with, which will make it see through. Does that make sense? Yes. So I'm going to do one combs with here. And one comes with on the opposite side. I see it. Now, the size of the sections, if they have really thin hair, you might be doing this in two sections. You know what I'm saying? Like how thick or thin their hair is does determine how um, big the section is. Okay, so I'm going to come back to the center. This is where I find a lot of people. They cut the guide, they're great, and then they either cut into their guide or they don't cut to their guide. So you may have to hover to see this, but I want you to look at when I actually cut the section. So come on over. I'm going to comb, right? And it's okay to have your feet back in front, but as long as your hips are. So I'm going to comb the section. A lot of times what I see people do is do this and then cut. It's going to be longer than your guide if you cut it like that. So comb, follow through, leave hair, and you're cutting to the guy. Now watch when I do my scissors. I'm going to do it again. I actually pull my scissors back. I'm not chopping. I'm cutting, and there's a slight pullback. I'm kind of exaggerating when I do that, but that is how you cut hair properly. It is open, and there's a pullback on the clothes. So you're not sawing at it, you're slicing through it. So now I'm going to make a step to the right. I'm going to comb again. There's the guide. So I, my scissors are right on it. They're not here. This is what I see. You see what's going to happen? So to create consistency, it should be, I have to cut that little bit. Right on the line. And I'm not cutting that line any shorter. So that's the thing that I want you to focus on. There's my guide, right on the line. Move my fingers out one more time. Then I'm gonna cut 
come back to center. There's my guide. Now I want to show you something. Watch what happens. You see how solid that line is? Mm -hmm. Look at my elevation. We're not elevating, we're doing a blunt. If you're hovering and moving this around, your line is going to become a little wonky. It'll still be visible, but it's not correct. So if you don't see a solid line, stop and figure out what's wrong. Mm -hmm. Make sense? So now I'm going to cut out to here. And over here, it's coming more forward. That's why I don't have a guide. So I'm just cutting to the guide that is there. You see it? And as you go, check left and right. Make sure they match, bring them to the center. When you check left and right, check the top of each section, making sure that you're not checking like this. Does that make sense? Like you, you wanna check balanced where you're at, not. So this next section, I'm going to add the front because I'm above the ear. So I'm gonna take this at the front. You see how I gave myself enough hair? This isn't a little sideburn hair. I have this much hair on the side. So again, enough guy. Okay, so first, and what you can do is you can do right and then left. You can take them both down and do them at the same time. But this allows me to see my guide a little clearer, optic hair. So I'm going to stand. The back doesn't change. I'm going to stand right here, comb it down, cut to the guy. Now you see, I'm like running into strands. That's what you're going to get on the doll pad, but I want you to go through the motions, cut to a guy, and create a solid line. So I'm stepping to the right, combing straight down. Is that for me? Yeah. <laughs> So look at, look at where I'm standing. I've added the side, but I didn't come on the corner. I'm in the back or the side. Yes? Yes. Now when I'm coming to the side, I'm going to stand on the side. Now remember there's a shoulder, so we would have to take that into consideration. When they're shoulder, so they may need to turn forward and you bring it here, or they may need to turn back and you bring it here. But when you're cutting this, if you're trying to create a true blunt cut, every ear is created differently. So some stick out further than others. So you have to release the tension just above the ear so that you don't have like a, a short spot. Does that make sense? Because the ear is going to poke it out. So you're gonna comb this down. Now I wanna show you something. I don't wanna cut here. You see how much we come off? I wanna cut to the beginning of this. That was my back. So I'm only cutting this long hair. I'm not cutting, remember we divided back from front. So when I cut that back there, it was where it was supposed to be, yes? Okay, so now I'm gonna stand here Again, my feet are still, so my feet hits my shoulders. Comb, follow through. Then I'm gonna use the spine of my comb and I'm just gonna place it over the ear. That's gonna give a little bit of pull right there and then cut. Do you see that little looseness right there? That's to allow for the ear. That's the only place that you wouldn't use like super tension. There's your trench. Yep. <laughs> And then you're going to cut to match. You're not going to do it in front of the ear, just <coughs> over the ear. Yes? Mm -hmm. Yes? Oh, you didn't touch your comb above the ear? And it just like lifted it? Come here. Yeah. Come left. Yeah. So if I comb this hair, do you see how that ear, I mean, it's a plastic ear and it's kind of flat, so it's not really realistic. But if, they're, if they had a larger ear, and I comb this down and then I cut, do you see how this drops just a little? You see that tiny little drop there? It's because I went like this. It pulled just the hair to go around this specific person's ear. Yes? Yeah? Okay. 
So then I'm going to do the other side and make that match. So I'm going to combine the front with this side. So still working on one home with section. Making sure that this front isn't just a sideburn. Where am I starting this? Where am I going to stand right now to cut this? I took this section down from here to here. Where am I going to start? In the back. So I'm going to come right here. Find my previous guy. Making sure it's a solid line. process. That's what we have, that bone behind the ear. That's what we said divides the front, right? So that's all that's coming back with me. Now I'm going to completely sit, not the corner, come to the side. And on this side, I'm, the hair is being held here, so I probably am going to take less so I can visually see. See how that looks longer. I don't want to cut that off. Did everybody see that? It's longer. And the further I bring it over, do you see if you go back too far, how much you would cut off? If it's cut and this is long, this is all I'm cutting. <laughs> don't recut this because we know it's straight back here. So that's where you'll get one side shorter than the other because you've cut into what you already cut. Yes? So bring this over, take the very end of it, that's my guide, over the ear, release for tension, cut to match, and then cut your front. And then you're going to check these, yes, we're going to make sure that you can do it from the front or you can do it from the back, whichever, but use your mirror. So if you're doing it from the back. Use your mirror, see, is this even? Make sure that you don't pull a piece up here and a piece back here. You're pulling directly from the front, same on left and right. And then at this point, with this amount of hair, I would bring this all down. Because you see what I'm cutting, right? It's strand, so I'm gonna bring this all down. When I do that, I wanna make sure here where there's cowlicks, I'm going to comb this in the direction it's being cut and leave it. I was finding you back here. So what I mean by that is you don't want to like stretch and stretch and stretch. And then the cowlicks go back to the natural way they grow, they pop up, your line's no longer blunt. Make sense? So you're going to comb it. Once you have it in the direction you want it, place your comb below where those growth patterns happen. Find your blunt line. Look at, I mean, it's strange. So don't try to find hair cut, but believe your line. Have I recut my guide at all? So I don't want you to recut your guide. Just here. Make sure, even though this is the final touches, like there's not a lot of hair, I still need my body placement to be correct. And then this front has a little different difference about it as well. Come on over here and look what happens if I pinch and cut. If I just gather and pinch to cut, do you see how that's not gonna? So here, is the hair gonna live in her eye or to the edge of her brow bone? <laughs> well, okay, turn around here for an example. Look at how her hair is falling. It's falling. Here, correct? So I'm going to cut this here, not true. Make sense? The doll head doesn't have bones, it's plastic, so it doesn't go where it's supposed to. So you're just going to make sure that when you cut it, it's on the edge of the brow bone. Does that make sense? And then cut to match. And by that I mean make sure you don't cut it here because you cut all that off. 
but with a guest, you it generally is going to go there, but you just kind of guide it. Okay, and then I'm going to come over here and do the same thing. And if you notice, I only release the tension on the first hair, the first section. The ear doesn't play a part with this hair. It's not touching. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. So just the hair that's right above the ear? Yeah, because that's what's cooping out. Okay. This is laying over top. And you just put your comb in there? So yep, I just laid my comb flat above the ear to allow for that. And that's important when doing a blunt, because you're trying to create a solid line and result. <clears throat> Whatever the adjustments needed when it's dry, you can do, and it would be minor. What questions do you have? So in the beginning, you had her tilted forward, like a little bit. 